Uh, it's probably a 50 cal. So every day, these gun fanatics here, this paranoid Swiss, are shooting every day. What are they preparing for, eh? Oh, that looks so clean. We are so clean. So Miss Obama, please, you know, after you rock, and maybe after a nice Christmas at home, send your boys over here and get your tax money back. And Gaddafi's money, and Saddam's, and Hitler's, etc, etc. I mean, Gaddafi wasn't possible, I mean, with these, without these guys here, without these Swiss criminals. The Second World War wasn't possible without these Swiss. They masterminded it. It was all about the banks. What's that? What's that? I only hear the echoes. Probably a hundred guys like shooting at once. And it goes on and on and on. And there's more and more lately. They're really preparing something. Now, here we see some Swiss army barracks of the Swiss mercenaries. Yeah. They say they're neutral, a lot of Humvees, with a special armour, a tank. I'm not getting nearer, because these guys are murderers. You know. And here, we got the sun hieroglyphics of the Pharaohs and of the Templars. So this Templar army, yeah, they uh, prolonged the Second World War with at least two years, they did. There's a big, um, all the flak and the AA was uh, Swiss made of the Germans, what the Germans had. And um, it was made by Burler Erlikon, so the Erlikon guns. There were, the la there were, during the whole war, there's another army car there. During the whole war, every day there were two train loads full with armament and guns, like 15, maybe 20 wagons behind it, going into Germany every day in the whole war. And with this, the uh, Second World War 
it has been estimated and calculated real thorough it had been prolonged with at least two years yeah and the most dreadful things like happened in the last two years like we think of uh, Auschwitz and uh, so why did they prolong the Swiss Templars why did they prolong the Second World War with two years well here comes the answer to make Auschwitz possible and the destruction of the Jews so the Swiss banksters could get the Jewish assets and get rid of a, um, of a chain of power which they didn't want after that they had all the power yeah, yeah. and if we like another thing they delivered was all the, uh, the ignition um, installation technique um, in the front of a torpedo it was all Swiss made I don't re I don't remember the company I think it was in the uh, in the French speaking part of Switzerland even I had the name somewhere so they made enormous suffering possible there on this side as well like the sinking of the Lanconia on September the 12th in 1942 uh, which we can see that the um, the captain of the U-boat, Mr. Hartenstein, who was a um, who was really a gentleman apparently, he took uh, especially the children and the women and lots of other people. Then he contacted the the Red Cross, the Allies, the British command. They said, "Well, we're not going to do anything." And then finally, the Americans, the US, the USAF, they bombed especially the um, the refugees or the uh, the shipwrecked they bombed the women and the children though they could see it very clearly why so here's the answer because the europeans were getting along very very well the germans in the ship they behaved like real gentlemen they gave coffee and food and blankets uh, medical help they got along very well with the english and the Italians so here among each other the Europeans got very well along with each other and this is what the enemy within the third power or the third Reich the Pharaohs and the Freemasons they didn't want they wanted the Europeans to kill each other to raise hatred but the incident of the Laconia proves that the Europeans they got a well they got along swell together real nice peaceful tired of the war all of them and the British and the American command uh, gave the order to bomb the hell out of them to kill children again and women you know that's what they always do yeah you know the Swiss they don't have a heart at the place where they should have the heart they got a little calculator which can calculate which is of more advantage and which is of less advantage with their neutrality swindle these are the biggest murderers so why Mr. Obama why do you go in Afghanistan and Iraq why don't you invade Switzerland the criminal and racist state of Switzerland and get your tax money back your own US tax money. It's here. That's all for now.